Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. It is roll race day. We haven't done anything with the coupe yet. I'm sorry, there will be an update coming. We just did not get a chance to have a play with it yesterday because of this thing. Yeah, trying to fix the indicators on the X5 turned into a bigger job than it probably could have. As you can see, we've got the trailer disconnected at the moment. Um, I, yeah, I spent like eight hours on this yesterday and it's probably my own fault and I was trying to be a little bit too clever. Um, because this car has had water in it, like there was still modules in the boot that are connected to the iBus system, They're like phone modules or communication modules. Um, and I recently fitted the Android. I was basically looking in too many places for the faults. Now I did find, one of the first things I found yesterday was the light control module had some corrosion on it and I did get a clip, so I'll put that in now. All right guys, well I don't know if you can see that, but we have some corrosion just there on the light control module. So I'm guessing this is what's gonna be our problem. Actually, one way I can check, I've got the light control module disconnected. Let me just pop. Because one of the things that wasn't working yesterday were the steering wheel controls. So if I turn the radio on and see if we have steering wheel controls. No, I'd like to go to the next one. Okay, it just took a little while. The radio is obviously still booting. Go to YouTube. But yeah, we do have steering wheel controls now. So, that means it's the light control module. I'm gonna take it out and see if we can clean it and maybe fix it. And yeah, so with the light control module removed, the steering wheel buttons for the Android started to work again. So I'm like, Sweet, we found the problem, it's the light control module. Um, I ended up cleaning the light control module, plugged it back in, and the indicators worked. I'm like, sweet, it was just the corrosion on the terminals, it's fixed, we are good to go. So then I took it out and I cleaned it even more, because I only sort of just gave it a quick spray with contact cleaner. I actually took the module out, took it apart, cleaned everything, uh, took the wiring harness apart, cleaned that, and then put everything back in, put all the carpet back in. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna be good, plugged it in, and then, Nothing worked again. No steering wheel controls and no indicators coming up on the dash. And at that point, I was stoked. I'm like, well, maybe it was just a coincidence that it worked this morning because when we were picking up the 325, it was sort of intermittent. Uh, and then I started hunting through the car. So removed the Android, removed all the other modules, had the light control module in and out, and I was trying all different combinations of modules, and sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. It really tested my patience. Um, now, David does have a... 2000 the parts car that he uses for most of his E39 stuff. And I had a quick look online and I thought they ran, well, I knew it was gonna run a different light control module to this car. So initially I didn't go and grab it. I just, I was trying to trial and error it instead of just swapping the light control module. At about five o'clock last night, I plugged the 535 light control module into this car and everything worked. I've actually put it back up in place, but I'll show you what's going on because we've now got a new issue. We now have a tamper dot. Oh, actually, I even removed this. I even removed this cluster um, in case it was the cluster causing the problem. Because again, if they're faulty, they can cause the issues. And I've had it apart. Um, anyway, we've now got a tamper dot on the speedo, and we also get this check brake lights, brake light warning. That's happening because this light control module is from an E39. It's never auto played before. Amazing. Shut up! Yeah, so because this module is from the E39, they have a different tail light and brake light setup, and basically it thinks that one of the brake light bulbs are out on both sides. I can't do much about it, but for now, we'll start the car up. Aside from the brake light warning, we have indicators and all that sort of stuff. These light warnings are coming up because I had the battery disconnected. I was trying module resets. That should all go off once it starts rolling and the speed sensors are all registered with the ABS module. Yeah, yesterday I, I even gave up filming because I was getting a bit frustrated. Um, but for now, we've got a bodge fix, but I do need to get the light control module from the E39 coded for an E53 and the mileage updated on it so we can get rid of that tamper dot because I don't want to have a tamper dot on this thing. It looks like we've been messing with the uh, kilometers. Anyway, um, I think we're good. I'm going to get the rest of the interior booked back in, hook the trailer up again, and we need to take it for a test drive because Dave's actually going to tow the M5 down with this 
instead of driving it down for a couple of reasons, uh, but we also just thought it'd be great to have a trailer in case either of our cars break. All right, uh, let me get this trim back in and we'll take this for a quick test drive. All right, trailer's reconnected. We got the brake light warning. The brake controller is working because that all got disconnected in case that was causing some issues. Um, that's there. We got indicators. Do we have tail lights? We do. What I might just do is just make sure that the hazards work on the trailer. Okay, well they are working. Yeah, because this light module's not for this vehicle, I'm just concerned that what would normally trigger a certain light might not work properly in the X5. But I think we're okay. Right, let's see if those warning lights go out once we get rolling. They did, awesome, that means all the speed sensors are working. Trailer's rattling along. Oh. Still had more rain. I am wondering if a little bit of moisture, we, we've had super heavy rain this week, and I wonder if it is moisture that's got in and killed that light control module. Um, so that's another thing we need to work out because these are prone to having sunroofs locking up. And I guess with the amount of pollen that falls out of the trees here, they could be blocked. So something else we need to check, just in case we end up killing this module as well. What I basically want to do is just make sure the trailer brakes work and that we don't get any weird errors once we're actually out on the road. Oh, I heard the trailer brakes lock up. Also, if you've been following along, the trailer brakes I wasn't ecstatic with how aggressive they were at first, where after we did that drive to Brisbane, I don't know if they bed in or something, but they've become more powerful, which is something I don't really understand. But yeah, brakes are all good. Trailer brakes are working sweet. We are good to go. All right, now because it's roll race day, we're gonna clean everything, because uh, that's very important. Don't worry about getting mechanical stuff ready. Uh, no, so we'll give this a vacuum and a wash so it looks a bit more presentable. We gotta do the same with the E39 and my 335. Unfortunately, because uh, we just ran out of time and these indicators being an absolute bitch yesterday, uh, I haven't had a chance to put my, I've forgotten what they're called. I haven't had a chance to put my, subframe bushes in um so my car is pretty much just going to be running on the base map they got from jsr a few weeks ago stock rear end in regards to diff brace and bushes and we're just going to see how it goes i'm just going to go for to have some fun today to be honest i'm not going to try and win any race well, i'm not going to win they're like proper drag cars that go um all right let's get this parked up and we'll give it a quick wash Always remember to grease your balls, people. You don't want them squeaking. I can't remember the last time I saw something going that hard down on a ball. Ooh. All right, interior's vacuumed. Toe balls greased. Yeah, it was just squeaking like hell when we picked up the car the other day. Um, yeah, that's about ready to go. Actually, I'll show you what we've got loaded up, what we're gonna be taking. I uh, just got a my favourite tool kit, a punch repair kit, got some oil for the 335 and the super cheap Aldi screwdriver set. It comes in a nice carry case, straps will go on the car. But let's go and have a look at the 335 because uh, I had a bit of an accident yesterday. I managed to wash the car key, which isn't good. Um, hopefully it still works. We'll find out in a few seconds. I can't remember if I mentioned it at the start of this video, but the 39 has been out this morning doing logs. It's on the custom tune at the moment. Um, it's Hass's custom tune from HTE. And unfortunately, we're getting mega timing corrections. Uh, well, we were on the ESS map, but it looks like it's gonna need some, it's gonna need some sort of intake cooling because this morning when we were doing the logs, which was like 6.30, 7 a.m., um, obviously nice and cool, but yeah, still super 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 high intake temps like into the 50s pretty quickly anyway will the key work 
It did, thank God. Right, now this car has not had enough love in the last few days. It's just been sitting, driving to McDonald's and back. Start straight up. Not even a rough idle. Man, it's, it's 7,000 degrees. I think I mentioned at the start of this video, but I'm gonna run this car how I've been running it. The same power level it was on for Euro Day. The only thing that's changed, ooh, squeaky handbrake. It's from all the rain. Uh, the only thing that's changed is I've got the new Venus, well, the old Venus solenoids in, but it does shift a bit better now than it was at Euro Day. And I think it's gonna go all right. We should be putting power down better than we did last roll. So even though we've got less power than we did for the last roll race, we should be able to get off the line a little bit better. And like I said, I wanna just go and have some fun. I'm not gonna take it too seriously because that's when you start spending too much money and breaking too many bits. And I think even at this power level, it should be pretty good, it should be pretty good. But let's get it cleaned up, looking presentable, ready for the day. And that means vacuum. See you guys in a sec. And she's all vacuumed. I just thought to show you guys, well, this is what I'd planned to have done before roll racing on the 335, but it's not happened. Uh, but I got subframe insert kit to go in from Nolathane. They were cheap as chips. I think it was like $80 or maybe 90 bucks. Um, and I bought 20 litres of Penrite BMV. It's all I've ever put in this transmission. It's had, it had three flushes last year when I was trying to sort it out. And it even got to the point where XHP, I was sending them scans and they even said that the transmission is so knackered I should just replace it straight away. And I've done now over 10,000 Ks on that oil with some decent power and she's all good. So yeah, I've got no issues with that oil, quite like it. All right, let's give it a wash and then this one will be ready to go. I'm gonna drive this down. Dave will be towing the M5 with the X5. He's all about the fives. I mean, this probably doesn't need a wash. It looks so good with the coating, but two massive bird turds on the screen that we need to get off. So let's freshen it up. But yeah, super happy with the, the coating that Wax My Car put on. It just, it's like the rain just cleans the car, which is hard to get your head around. Anyway, I'm gonna cool this black paint down, give it a quick wash, and then she'll be good to go. So she dried off, looking sick, and I was just like, ah, oh, there's a new dent. Where the f did that come from? It's really annoying. Really annoying. No, oh, well, it should pop out, all right. All right, guys, well, the 335 is ready. We're leaving in about half an hour. I haven't watched X5 yet. Uh, yeah. It's too much to do. Well, guys, we are finally on the road to rolls. We have Declan behind. Don't know if you guys can see that. And we have an M5 in front. Um, yeah, sorry, this video didn't get updated. It ended up just being a massive rush to get ready. Um, but we'll give you an update once we get to the survey. We are fueled up. I hope. Yeah, you gotta love it when your fuel center works. All right, guys, we're gonna get back on the road. We fill up about 40 minutes from the track. We'll see you there. We're there, boys. In one foot. We made it! Did you overheat or anything? Nah, she's good man, but uh... Bit sway -y. A little bit. Might be a little bit in the wrong position, but... Not bad, really. We're just gonna sign on, Declan. Okay. We're just gonna sign on. Well guys, we have made it down to Queensland Raceway. And miraculously, both cars seem to be working. I didn't actually mention it earlier in the video, but Dave's car wouldn't start this morning. Yeah. We weren't sure if it was a fuel sender issue, if it was out of fuel or a fuel pump, because we did do that dodgy fitting on the connector the other day, um, but put fuel in it and it's good to go. It's just the fuel gauge shows empty right now. It's a pain in the ass, but at least it is here and we're gonna be able to do some S62 versus N54 races. Declan is here in his M2. It's going to be a good day. And also Scott is coming down. He's one of the awesome Zero to 60 members who helps us out massively. We can't thank the members enough and I'm looking forward to giving him in a race. And if he wants to jump in for a passenger ride as well, it's going to be awesome. Guys, all the racing action is going to be on tomorrow's video. David's going to try and do a separate video of all of his races because he's probably going to be up against a different sort of category of car. But yeah, it should be good. Thank you very much for watching. We've made it. The X5 didn't catch on fire. It's going to be a good night. Peace.